McNeil meeting, but it lasted a long time, a lot longer than it was supposed to last. I said, what's the biggest problem? He said, North Korea. By the time I finished, I was, we, we had no problem with North Korea. We were really, it was a little tough at the beginning, remember? Mm -hmm. He said, uh, I have a red button on my desk. I said, I have a red button also, but mine's bigger than yours and mine works. I liked how you called them Little Rocket Man. <laughs> I said, I said, yeah, Little Rocket, I said, Little Rocket Man, you're going to burn in hell. And it was a rough, yeah. oh, so rough that people were worried. This is crazy. And then one day I got a call, sort of like a fight. I got a call. You know, you ever see why they're pounding upon Then all of a sudden, but I got a call. And it was from him, meaning his people, they wanted to meet. They wouldn't meet Obama. He tried to meet. They wouldn't even talk to him about it. And I think he expected to go to war. I actually do. I believe he expected to go. And we checked their nuclear stockpile. It is substantial. I mean, it's... that's. I said, do you do anything? I got to know him very well. I got to know him better than anybody. Anybody. And I said, do you ever do anything else? Why don't you go take it easy and relax? Go to the beach. You have beautiful beach, nice beachfront property. You know, kiddingly. I right. said, you're always building nuclear. Just relax. You don't have to do it. Let's build some condos on your shoreline. They actually have gorgeous stuff. And he said, uh, I just have to do it because I need it for my safety, et cetera. I got to know him very well. We had no problem with him. If you have a smart problem, if you have a smart, a really the right president, the smart president, you're not going to have a problem. And I say it to people. We have a bigger problem, in my opinion, with the enemy from within. And it drives them crazy when I use that term. But we have an enemy from within. We have people that are really bad people that I really think want to make this country unsuccessful. When you look at what's happening at our border, Joe, when you have people coming in that when, when other countries...